Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnegie Org. Today we're going to be starting off with fallacies of weak induction with the appeal to unqualified authority. Let's take a look. So, unqualified authority, that's going to mean deferring to the expertise of someone that is biased or unqualified to provide information. That's going to be known as argumentum ad vericundium. Here's some examples. The Onion says neighborhood has gotten a lot safer since mayor vanquished fire troll. Therefore, fire trolls exist. Or at least they did until a local mayor vanquished one. Clearly, The Onion is not a qualified authority on these things because it's not actually a real news source. It is, in fact, a satirical web news media that makes things up. Miriam, my six-year-old niece, claims that candy is good for you. Therefore, candy is good for you, and I should buy her a bag of chocolate. Clearly, here... Miriam not only isn't terribly qualified to tell me what food is good for me, but she's a little biased in that she probably really wants a bag of chocolate. The young earth creationist claims that science shows that the earth is actually quite young. Therefore, science says the earth is actually quite young. The point here would be that not only is the young earth creationist probably not going to be terribly qualified to tell us about science, but they're probably a little biased as to the age of the earth. That was unqualified authority. Also today we're going to be looking at conditional proof answers. Yesterday we did red herring and conditional proof part two. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the appeal to ignorance and indirect proof part one. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org and stay skeptical everybody.